melt snow using body heat. Platypuses or Ziploc bags that don't leak work really good. You could also use a metal water bottle or a plastic water bottle. Um, typically something that's smaller like a platypus I find works best. If you, The best thing to do is to leave a little bit of water in your container. That actually helps with the snow. Wear gloves when you're filling your container so your hands don't get too cold. And I'm just going to pack it in. Might have to shake it up a bit. And I don't fill the whole container full. I want about half of it in there. If you're in an area where there's wind blown or other dirt, dig down a few inches or even a foot to get the clean snow and use it. And if there's a lot of human traffic in the area, you want to make sure you purify your snow after it's melted just like any other water. Make sure your top is completely closed. Shake off snow. I'm going to fold it and put it between layers of clothing. Make sure you do not touch bare skin or else it can cause you to get really cold. If your jacket has an inside pocket, use it. Typically it takes about 15 to 20 minutes. If you're hiking uphill or climbing and you're generating a lot of heat, you'll melt it a lot sooner. All right, 20 minutes later, let's see how our snow has melted. Pull it out. And looks like some of it's slushy, but most of it has melted, I could do two things. Could drink some, or continue adding more snow. Um, I recommend you drink it just so you, you're constantly staying hydrated.